Golden T Mobile, week number eight world championship head-to-head matchups continue as we find more contenders for the championship in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is semifinal action, and that is Fly Rye 87 as he battles it out with Shankopotamus. They will be playing nine holes here today, trying to get again to the world championship in Las Vegas, Nevada, and they will play on Desert Valley. The front nine, this is a chance to get a lot of stinger opportunities. We'll see if the players can do that on hole number one. Hi, everybody. I am Chad Shrump. Have enjoyed this week. Break the scoreboard. And they're going to try to do that today. Stingers from the beginning. Fly, Rye. Ryan Tusky is just left. And now Will Davis will try. Shankopotamus. That line looks gorgeous. Drano right off the bat. 11,000 great shot points. Comes out swinging. Shankopotamus not messing around. Trying to punch his ticket to Vegas. Fly right 87. Ryan will make this putt. He birdies. And we go to the drivable par four. Hole number two. 11,000 great shot points for Will. Plus the all important stroke. This is a good look. Does this go in? Just misses. High side of the cup. The line was great. Here is Tusky. Can this kick left enough to make a difference for him? Great shot points, but it is not going to go in. 21,000 GSBs for Tusky. But again, he still trails by one plenty of time. Seven holes to play. There are several difficult holes on Desert Valley. Very dependent on pin, wind, tee box, all that jazz that we talk about every single week. Great shot points, as long as we're talking about things we talk about every week. They will determine, they will be the tiebreaker if these players are tied in strokes after the ninth hole. So keep an eye on that. Here is a par three I expect one to make. Here is Shankopotamus. That is just short, but he should be in great shot point land. He is almost 8,000 great shot points to add to his 11,000 he had on the hole out on hole number one. So almost 20,000 great shot points for Shakeopotamus. As you know, Ryan had 22,000 on hole number two. Ryan with a delicious look here on hole three. It looks like it's a little bit left. It is, and I think he's out of land of the GSPs, which he is, but that's okay. He will birdie. So will Will. We move on to hole four. Here is the probably the toughest hole on this course to make golden tee par. To make an eagle here requires two very good shots, sometimes three. Shank will drive this way deep, almost too far, but that's a good shot. It settles nicely. Ryan will try a, oh boy, don't hit that tree. It slows it down. That's fine. I am the man that hits these trees, both these players, much better than I, and they do not. Here is Tusky going to throw a ranger at it. What a nice shot. What a slurve. Now we go to Will. Will will do the same. Throws this to the right side. There's a backstop. I don't know that he's even going to need it. Good shot from Will Davis. Both players play this well. Ranger putt from Tusky. Money. Davis doing the same. Money. Two eagles on a tough par five fourth hole, and the players continue to play these courses very, very well. Shankopotamus with a sniper over the palms. Coming back towards the hole, it will be safe but well left. Let's see if we can get an aggressive line from Ryan. Aggressive, hey? Yes, he's hitting an orbit. Let's see what happens here. Does it come back enough to get into the cup? It doesn't, but still a good shot from Ryan Tusky. Shankopotamus will clean up a 20-footer, and Ryan will have a 17-foot eagle putt as they both do their business here on hole number five. Here is a hole-in-one opportunity. Very simple. This is a stinger chipper. Good. Good. That's a good one. Shank is hitting the ball very straight. Nerves are in check. That's what you want to see. How are the nerves? Right now, Shank, none. Here is Ryan. That looks good as well. Makes it. So, back-to-back -back aces. Hole number six. 
players are on a good pace. Tusky on pace for a 15 under, but Will Davis, Shankopotamus, is on pace for a 16 under par with more holes that can be made as we continue. Here is a par five. That drive is almost perfect. I'm gonna try to drive this to the left edge of this fairway, shorten up the second shot, plus they have decent wind into this green, and that's very nicely done by Fly Rye. Shankopotamus will hit a grabber. It makes the green and checks up. He will have an eagle putt. And Tusky will elect to use a Maniacs at 98%. Hits this well left. It's going to kick down. He will have a Ranger putt, potentially a chip, but I think he's going to have a putt. Let's see what he elects to do. He will putt, and he drains it. So we move into the eighth hole. Still a one-stroke lead for Shankopotamus, although he is down on great shot points. So if Ryan were to get a shot back, here's a nice shot from Shank. Very nicely done through the trees with Orbit. Ryan says, no, thank you. I will go around with a sniper. So if we can get a stroke for Fly Rye, I think that he would have a GSP win if what I remember is correct on the scorecards, 23,600 and 25,900. So essentially, we have to have a hole out for Fly Rye, and all Will needs to do is just birdie if he doesn't make an eagle from the fairway. So good drive from Shank. Fly Rye will put one out as well. Shank Eponymous has been so many of these matches. He has just calmed down, played nothing but great golf. Here is a good look on hole nine. It is just a little bit short, which throws it to the right a bit. Now, to win the match, Ryan must make this. It is up. It is up, and it just misses on the low side. Great effort for Tusky. 7,000 points are his reward. But the greatest gift of all will be the victory. Will Davis, Shankopotamus, just needs to make this short putt to move on to the weak eight finals in his quest to get to a world championship. He makes it. It's good. He will move on. What a match here on Desert Valley. 16 under par for Shankopotamus, 15 under for Fly Rye, but Shankopotamus moves on into the finals.